and yes, just one time, it's half step, and something like that. But of course, we will stay with this for two to eight weeks. We will see how long, but there's enough time to learn it. You know. At first, just the movement of your, of your legs and your feet and your hip. No, we are beginning with the last movement of the brushing your knee without arms. So it's a broad, 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 a broad step a wide and broad step from brushing your knee and now we are putting all our weight in the front in the left leg and try to loosen up the right side of the body and coming a little closer with the right foot completely weight in the left standing leg. It's an ordinary step now. You know, foot length to the foot tip of the right, right foot. And then just keeping our, our awareness just to the lower body. Coming with our weight to the right leg while rotating the hip. You know, oh, there's always, always the same pattern. Always directing your hip to the in the direction of the foot tip of your standing leg. You know that there's no tension, no bending in your knee, and that's physiological important you know? the first time our yoga asana you know try to relax in this pose lower hip to the front complete breath if you like that you are Spine is erecting by itself, loose shoulders, and so forth. And then a very tiny step, a little bit to your right foot, but with the heel on the earth and raised front raised front balls, front part of your left foot. A specialty in this short pipa form is your hip. As I said, the weight is in your right leg. The hip is directed to the tip of your right foot. And the upper body is twisted and directed in the direction of your left foot tip. You know, so, so your bend. But one more time. Just the step, weight in the left leg in the front. Relax. Or pull your leg in the first year or so. Pull your leg a little bit closer. Then try to keep the direction of your upper body to the front while rotating your hip with the weight, distribute, weight distribution to your right standing leg. No? You're already twisted something I have to improve for myself because I'm lazy <laughs> so my upper body is also rotating you know 
which shouldn't be the case. One more time. Left front, relax, more to the ground, letting your right foot come to a more narrow stand, weight distribution to the right leg and while keeping your upper body's direction to the front and coming to the heel toe up version of your left foot. No? One more time and then we are taking our arms front left, relax to the ground, right is coming a little closer, upper body to the front, lower hip is rotating to the right while heel to the ground. Yes, we will perform snapshots, yoga, asanas, very slow movement and so forth. But for today, um, a fast explanation. Last brushing your knee. Then the half step. Two half cycles with your hands while keeping the direction to the front and then this. Yes, I will change the angle so that you might be able to see something more. This one. step, distributing the weight to the right very slow, forming the A and the heel step. One more time, even another angle, let's see, something like that. Yes. Too, too long. Okay. Relax. To the back. And. But the, there are two main topics. And these are the twisted upper, upper body. You know, that's of importance, even for health, because you're a little bit massaging your inner trunk while you know, moving upper body independent from your hip. You know, so it's, of course, you're building up a little tension that you can lose in the next form, but that's for another session. And the half step. This half step, we always had it in our walking, always. It's the same pattern, you know. You are in the front and this relaxing to the ground, you know, coming to your lower Dantian, which should be, should be already known by everybody interested in martial arts and all these Asian forms. Even in the yoga, you know, it's good to strengthen the lower two chakras. If you are Vata-like, you know, getting more grounded is good for, for us. Airy, spacious, people <laughs> and 
and then relax, you know, keep the whole body easily erected, you know, relaxed to the heaven and try to sink more to the ground in your front standing leg so that your right leg is coming to its new position nearly by itself. You know? These are the two main topics. You know, the, the arms are totally forgotten. You know? <laughs> because this is the most important part, you know, the, the half step, relaxing, and the twisting, <laughs> this one, the twisting of the upper body. You know, that the hip is really in this direction and your upper body is in the front direction. That's of the, these are the most important parts in this playing the people. One more time and then in the next session we will go on. You know, of course you can, if you like, you can put it to our ordinary walking loop, brushing your knee three times and then put, improvise a little bit, you know, just put this playing the lute on the end and then back to brushing the, your knee and so forth. Yes, if you like to. Until next time, develop your inner smile because it's worth it. <laughs> you will find it out by yourself. Thank you.